Hey guys, um, once again here's a video on sprue terrain, um, some stuff I've been working on recently. I think I've already done a video on the bridge on the right there with the little orcs on. But on the left I've got a barge or raft or something which is inspired by the boats you see in Return of the King. Um, and as you can see it's got the front and that can actually just be taken off and put down like that to make a little ramp. Um, but yeah, like again it's just bits of sprue, um, yeah it's just little bits at the front that it rests in, little hooks I've made basically, see there, and the advantage of this thing that actually can be turned on its top and it makes a little raised bit, you could stick some palisades or whatever you want on top of that, um, just have it as a, or it could be like a jetty or something. Um, which actually is something else you could do with these is then rather than having them as bridges or a raft it could be like walkways like you get in um, Lake Town yes yeah, so, so yeah so for example like that there you go. Right, actually you could do that with it as well and there we go we've got a little jetty or sort of a Lake Town sort of thing um, and you could build little houses that go on top um, so yeah, like, <clears throat> I'm quite, I'm quite pleased with these, I mean, it's just lengths of sprue cut down and filed down a bit, um, and then just sort of all glued together, the advantage of this is you can use just normal, normal, um, plastic glue, um, so it's really easy to work on, both these have just been prime black, and then I've just painted using some cheap brown acrylic, and then dry brushed, sort of like a lighter shade over the top, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm quite pleased with those. That's just getting me more and more train. It's using up that sprue that I've got spare lying around. It saves me throwing it away. You know, it's good for the environment. Um, but yeah, like, uh, so maybe give you a better scale of the raft. Let's put some little orkies in there. So that's like two orcs. Got some more orcs somewhere. I'll just throw them on the floor. Yeah. Got, so you fit at least three orcs across. Yeah, so you can pack some orcs in quite well into there if you wanted to. So, yeah, if you wanted to play like that scenario where they're attacking on Goliath or whatever, that'd work quite well. Um, and with the uh, with the bridge, it's made so that it's you can fit up to a 60 millimeter base on it. But as you can see, two two 25 millimeter bases fit on it quite comfortably. Um, the advantage of this is actually. Even with a 25 millimeter base, you've still got that one inch control zone. Um, so you know it, it makes a really fun choke point, and because it's about 10 inches long, it for most models it'll take more than a, at least one turn of movement to get across. So you know that's the thing you could have the fun of like oh well, especially if you've got a river that wide, well do you want to risk swimming that because for most models that's going to be like two swim tests to get to the side and things like that. Um, so, you know, just one of those things if you want to change the games up a bit. And obviously you don't have to have river that wide. You can always make your bridges shorter. Um, and, and as I've said, if you wanted to turn them over, use or turn the raft over, use that, and just keep doing that. You can make jetties and walkways. So you could have like a goblin town or a lake town kind of effect. In fact, these look quite rough, so they probably look better for uh, goblin town now I think about it. Um, but yeah, so... There's plenty, plenty you could do, and they don't really take that much effort to build and paint. So, you know, a couple of afternoons, you can knock out a huge chunk of stuff. Um, what I like about it is, this sort of thing is, even if you really don't feel like doing any, like, well, you know, if you really like the move of painting or whatever, it's just so easy to just glue a bit together, chop some sprues up. Um, I actually, because I've been suffering from migraines a lot recently, I actually just spent one one day, like, because I couldn't do anything else, just cut up all that sprue that I had spare and like sort of stripping it down into these strips. Um, so I've got all that organized now. So I've still got plenty of these like strips ready and I've got all the other bits that don't really cut very well. That I'll probably at some point then cut down to make uh, like little bricks and then maybe build some houses out of those. And you can also just put those on bases. Um, if you've been following me on Instagram or Twitter, you'll probably have seen on there that there's photos of my Gondor army and they've got um, bits of sprue on their base. Um, again, that works really well. And the thing is you can either pile it up into piles or you can make like a cobblestone floor. 
um and like the possibilities of what you can do with sprue is just endless really like the more creative you want to get the better you know you can get really creative with the stuff and this is is really really handy resource i must admit like i absolutely love using sprue for like making train and just anything really it's just so handy um uh and this this little guy there has got a green stuff blade that's obviously not particularly sturdy um but yeah so anyway uh thanks for watching and happy hobbying